What's going on everybody? This is Enemy MCLA. I'm just going to show you guys a quick tutorial on how to use your PS4 controller on the Xbox One. Uh, note, you do need a Zim 4 or a Zim Apex. So if you don't have those, uh, I know there's another solution, but it's, it's way worse than this. Uh, so yeah, let's get a move on here. So as you guys know, first off, you need an Xbox One, right? And then you uh, also need your Zim Apex or Zim 4. Mine's plugged in the back there. Um, so with the Zim Apex, there's there's three USBs, one for your keyboard, one for your mouse, and one for the uh, controller, so it can like replicate the controls on the controller to a mouse and a keyboard. So as you see here, see my screen. I'm just gonna press a few buttons. The stuff moves. Uh, so you want to unplug the USB that the keyboard's plugged into. And I have an extension right here, just makes it a little bit easier. Just want to unplug that, right? Uh, and then and and then take your USB uh, from your PS4 controller and plug it into into the Zim. Hopefully, I got this the correct way. Oh yeah, oh yeah, get in there. Yeah, editing magic. There it is. It's it's plugged in. Uh, it doesn't show that it's on, but you're just gonna have to wait a second. And so uh, that's out of the way for the external stuff you have to do. Basically, uh, now I'm just gonna show you what you have to do on the Zim Apex app. So as you guys can see on the app. Uh, on the top left corner, it shows that we're playing on an Xbox. But the middle icon is that you have a PS4 controller plugged into said Xbox. And what you want to do, um, since this is configured to a mouse and keyboard layout, you want to go up on the top right corner, click New Config, and then click Console, Controller, Crossover. And you want to click on the Xbox One. Uh, some people might mistake that you have to click on the PS4, but it's only on what console you're playing on. Uh, yada yada yada, click yes. Or no, I mean click no. <laughs> That's just showing more information. And now you're on console controller crossover. So now it should be working. You can go on the top left corner, click the edit button. If mine wants to work, my phone's like broken on the left. You can uh, check out the configs and uh, change whatever buttons you need to. Uh, I guess the biggest thing for PlayStation users would be uh, changing the right trigger to right bumper and the left trigger to uh, left bumper. I mean L, L1 and R1 and changing the bumpers to uh, R2 and uh, L2. So as you can see, the PS4 controller works on the Xbox One through the Zim. Uh, it can also work vice versa. You can use Xbox One and 360 controllers on PlayStation. Um, and then, as you guys saw earlier, left uh, L1 aims down sight, R1 shoots. So, in case you were used to the old Call of Duties where it was set like that, you can, you can change it to whatever you want. And uh, yeah, the only downside is that there's like the slightest response time to it that can affect others. Some people don't even uh, worry about it. I know the Zim 4 was a lot larger than than the Apex. I think the Apex is one millisecond or two milliseconds. And the Zim 4 is like eight milliseconds. Um, and another downside is that you can't get any vibration, I don't think. Or maybe you can. Let me let me double check there. I think I might have found it. Oh no. <laughs> no, when you do that, it just rumbles the uh the uh, Xbox One controller. Yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I think this would be the simplest way in using a PS4 controller on um, on Xbox. I know there is another way that doesn't 
involve using a Zim or any sort of uh, keyboard and mouse uh, adapter or, or whatever. But uh, I know the input lag is like horrendous, like literally one second, which you wouldn't be able to, you wouldn't be able to do anything with that. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you in the next one. Peace.